Hi, today we're going to do unit cost problems. These are word problems where to get the answer, one of the ways you could do it is to get the cost per unit, the cost for one. Now, you may see other ways to do these problems, but the cost per unit method is an easy way to do these kind of word problems. Let's look at this first one. If eight pencils cost $1.60, how much do 45 pencils cost? Now, what you're going to do is first divide the $1.60, and I got 8 pencils, so you divide that by 8, and you would get 20 cents if you do that. Uh, now, you take the 20 cents now, and you multiply now by the 45 pencils that you're looking for. Now you know that the unit cost, the cost for one, is 20 cents. And you would get nine dollars. And that's how you would answer this first question, using unit cost. Now take a look at the second one here. If nine candy canes cost $2.70, how many candy canes can you buy if you have $6? Uh, candy canes, it sounds seasonal unless it's August when you're watching it. But uh, it's a little bit of a twist on this one because I'm not asking how much you're going to pay. Here you have to find how many candy canes you can get for the total money. But again, unit costs will help you. If I know I have uh, 9, and that costs 270, I divide the 270 by 9, and you could do this on the calculator or long division, you will get 30 cents for each candy cane. 30 cents is my unit cost. Now, I take the 30 cents that I'm going to pay for each, and I divide that into the six, the six dollars, divided by the 30 cents. And that will tell me how many candy canes I will get for the six dollars. And if you divide six dollars by 30 cents, uh, and you could do that on your calculator, it would be $6 divided by the 30 cents. You would get an answer of 20, 20 candy canes. So here's two different problems that are closely related. One is kind of like a twist on the other that you could get using unit cost, getting the cost for one first. 